Thank you, Mr. Chairman and esteemed members of this community. The Dystopia Beer Craft Beer Association represents 85 craft breweries in the state of Texas. That is the largest concentration of craft breweries in Texas outside of Austin. DCPA's goal is to provide and exchange anything necessary for craft beer production. Promoting the craft beers of Texas is key to community and economic prosperity, development, and the areas where the breweries reside, as well as the whole state. I'm here today as my, in my capacity as president of DCBA to represent the DCBA and the importance it serves to the Texas economy and greater community. As a testament to DCBA's importance and value to Texas, its members provide over 2,500 jobs throughout Dystopia and add $10 million to the Texas economy. The industry is one of the fastest growing and is 100% Texas American made. The importance of the DCBA come, becomes clearer after examining three important points. So today I'd like to share these three observations on how we can learn about the DCBA and how we can move forward to benefit Texas as a whole. The legislature should invest in, into three interconnected pro-agriculturally friendly initiatives targeting one, combating disastrous effects of droughting, two, incentivizing brewery companies to stay in Texas, and three, promoting pro-water reuse programs. Indeed, these are all connected for the greater good of Texas. First, the government should focus on uh, should focus on improving DCBA's main concerns, focusing drought impacts. Droughts can cause a great deal of harm to the economy and the environment. Uh, a droughts impact in production, thereby affecting local economy. Droughts impact quality, thereby affecting the taste and uniqueness of draft beers. Droughts cause lack of growth, thereby leading to stagnant states in the environment. Droughts become more inefficient to create industry uh, moves, leading all leading all the increased prices, leading to the increased prices of the unique beers. We have a relatively uh, ha we have had a relatively extensive history with these droughts, and they have represented a contraction of the Texas economy each time they arrive. Indeed, it is a national problem on a geographical geographic scale for the 13th century. To the 1930s bust bowl and the 1950s droughts. However, like other states working on protecting water, we can prevent economic and community disasters by acting before a drought to protect farming and brewing practices. Finding out ways to fix issues of droughts or otherwise allocate water in a more efficient manner could help avoid natural disasters such as fires and dust storms. Furthermore, it could help, uh, it could especially help these brewing businesses stay afloat and stay in Texas. As a second point, the government should incentivize brewing companies to stay in Texas. This can be done through compensating their losses through tax breaks or monetary incentives. Finally, as a third point, providing research incentives to Texas universities invested in helping not only the brewing in the state, but also the greater agricultural role of water. Much like Israel is developing ways to desalinate water, we in Texas could focus on desalination and other methods, such as recycling water, wastewater. Some such attempts have been tried in Oregon through the Oregon Department of Quali Environmental Quality and their water reuse programs. This will require additional research funding to inquire as to what are the causes and development, develop solutions for improving water reuse. Thus, the three points are, we need to address droughts to keep brewing uh, business in Texas before water becomes too expensive. Two, we need to provide incentives to the breweries to continue to stay in Texas. And three, we need to invest in water rejuvenation, either through desalination or water reuse. Investing in breweries can not only help protect Texas jobs, but promote the co more cohesive community action for effective centralized results. Let's challenge ourselves. Not to not only promote and protect the livelihoods of all Texans, but the uniqueness that makes Texas special. Thank you for your time. I look forward to answering questions from the committee.